listen to how loud the turbo whistle is. I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute and let you guys listen to this thing. What is going on, y'all, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Now, today is going to be an awesome day because it is new truck day. Now, the truck that we are going to be checking out in this video is by DTG616, and I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to his mods in the description down below. So let's go ahead and hop on our dirt bike here, and we're going we're gonna to go ahead and fire it up and get on down to the dealership. So let's see. This thing takes a second or two to get up to speed. It's not, like, instantaneous. I wish it was a little bit quicker at getting up to speed, but, like, ooh, once it gets there, it's a bit of a rocket ship. You have to be careful not to, like, steer it too much, because if you steer it a little bit too much, basically what happens is the front wheel, like, almost goes completely sideways, and yet you're still going forward, and so that creates a lot of really weird scenarios like when i say weird scenarios i mean really freaking weird i really wish you could wheelie on it though i wonder hold on i wonder will it do a stoppy i'm gonna like oh god what the heck is going on with the frames Jeez. all right i'm gonna go ahead and hit the brakes hard and no that does nothing that does absolutely nothing i mean there's really no mechanic of leaning in this game so that would make sense that it doesn't... Well, when I say no mechanic of leaning, I mean no mechanic of leaning, like, forward and backward on, like, a two-wheeled vehicle, like a dirt bike or a motorcycle or something like that. But, I mean, you can lean side to side, and that works pretty well, but the mechanic of leaning forward and backward isn't really there. So, let me know in the comment section down below, by the way, what trucks you guys would like to see in Farming Simulator 22. Bro, that Duramax over there looks sick. Alright, let's go ahead and pull right up to the front door. You know what, actually? Let me go ahead and just let them know right off the bat that we mean business and when i say we mean business we come on if it'll fire up come on we mean freaking business yes hello i would like to purchase some things let's see will it actually let me use the no oh wait there we no oh my god the... okay there we go now it actually lets me use it i mean weird it doesn't let you immediately jump into the dealership when you're parked on top of the <laughs> when you're parked on top of the area where you're supposed to use it yeah that's uh th maybe we need to not do that again all right so let's go into the cars section and let's scroll on over to the right, and what we're looking for is a Cat Eye Chevy. Now, we have quite a few truck mods on at this point, so we may have to scroll a little ways. There it is. There it is. Bro, this thing is beautiful. It looks amazing, even in stock form. Like, in stock form, this thing actually looks really, really nice. It's actually got a Wyoming plate on the front of it, too. Let's see. It's got BFG KO2s on these stock wheels. I, you never realize until you look at the stock wheel size on these trucks. These have a lot of sidewall. Like, a lot all right, so let's actually go through some of the customization options right off the bat. So it's going to start off with the 03 to 04 front fascia, but you can switch that over to an 05 to 06 front fascia. Very interesting. Let's do let's do the 05 to 06. I like that one a little bit better. Now, front bumper wise, we've got stock, we got a ranch hand, we've got an off road. Whoa, that thing is huge. Look at the size of the D rings on that thing. The hooks are enormous. Let's see. I tell you what, we'll do. Oh man, I'm back and forth. I tell you what, we'll do that one. We'll do that one. But later on down the road, we might be able to go back and kind of, you know, play around with some of the other options and see what we might think, you know, looks good. So let's see. Fender flares. I'm assuming these are going to be like the OEM. Yeah. So let's see. Fender, fender flares, normal, and then the molded ones, and then the plastic ones. We'll do just kind of the molded ones. I, I kind of dig the way they look. Step options. So we've got the standard ones. Then we've also got none okay yeah we're gonna be leaving those off because i don't really like the way the standard ones look now cab lights we are definitely gonna do let's see yes or no <laughs> which cab lights would you like cab lights yes or cab lights no i'll have cab lights yes thank you very much all right so let's see bed options let's see cycle till hitch appears i love how he's very like transparent about how all of this stuff works so let's see toolbox so we've got I i'm down to go with that toolbox and whip antennas bed cover bed cap so if you want to do a full like bed cap setup you totally can toolbox two which i don't know where that is that's kind of i don't know if that's wait toolbox and whips two Bed cover two, bed cap, whoa, 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 okay, um, cycle until hitch appears, huh, I don't know, uh, 
I don't know where said hitch is supposed to appear, but it, it's, um, I don't know where said hitch is supposed to appear, because it didn't appear. It, it was not there. Well, that's a bit odd. That, that's actually really quite strange, unless I'm genuinely missing something. Like, I'm, I've looked at the hitch the whole time, and I really don't see where the hitch was supposed to appear. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and throw the toolbox in the back. CB options. Let's see. Where's the CB? Oh, that would probably be... Would that be interior only, then? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, you can see it down there in the interior, like way down there okay so we'll look at that a little bit more when we leave the garage and when, like once we're outside so let's see oh this is where it gets really interesting hitch options cycle till hitch appears gooseneck oh i wonder if it was just a little bit messed up in the menus gooseneck let's see uh fifth plate okay okay two inch drop two inch drop plus gooseneck tell you what we'll do the two inch drop plus gooseneck short box single rear wheel Long box, uh, single rear, rear wheel and dual rear wheel. Wait a minute. The size of the box didn't... Hold on. Uh, okay. Interesting. I wonder which options are supposed to change. Oh, so it's in the wheel setup. Whoa. That's super neat. That must be why... That must be why... Oh, the bed options. Okay. That must be, yep, that's why, that's what it is. It's for the long box. Yo, that's wild. Okay, so we'll do the long box, and then let's see, bed strap options? Whoa, okay, stock single long, stock dually. Bro, oh, dually 05 to 06, single long. We'll do, we'll like fully build this thing out. We'll do a dually 05 to 06. This thing is going to be... When I say it's going to be fully built, it's going to be fully freaking built. So let's go back up now to where, okay, Toolbox 2, uh, let's see, it should probably be Option 3. Yeah, Toolbox 3, and then, let's see, uh, Cycle Until Hitch Appears, uh, Pintle Hitch, oh my god. So we got to go over to Option Set 3 for the options for this build. So let's see, we're going to do the 2-inch drop and the gooseneck, that'll be good. Wheel setup. I'm going to stick with the wheel setup as it is right now. It's only going to be the stock, like, wheel and tire setups. No, like, aftermarket wheels. But this thing is really high quality, though. Plow options. We could do a plow mount up front if we really wanted to. Um, I'm not going to go for that right now. Body color. You obviously have a ton of different options for this. I mean, it is genuinely a insane number of options. Let's see. What about... Hmm, I'm going back and forth... Let's see. Oh, actually, I kind of dig the yellow. I know there's some people that really don't like yellow trucks or really like yellow cars or yellow trucks in general, but, like, I think that looks good. Now, let me look one more time. Blue jean metallic. That actually doesn't look bad either. Oh, man, there's a lot of really good-looking color options on this thing. Mint green. I feel like, okay, I'm weird. I like that color, but, like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, no, ew, get rid of that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What about, eh, the frost is, like, kind of meh. I like the blue jean metallic. The blue jean metallic just looks good. Let's see, what about marlin blue? I tell you what, we'll go with the marlin blue. I think that looks really nice. That looks really good. Now, are there different, whoa, type 1, type 2. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So, how about we do, let's see, TC, ha, 9700. Beautiful. Beautiful on the Wyoming tag. I love it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and buy this thing now. Yes, absolutely. Long bed dually truck. And also, uh, don't worry about the fact that I left my I left my dirt bike in the lobby. Uh, can I back it up? Will it let me back it up? I mean, I know this is not technically reverse gear. And if we were doing this in real life, we'd be walking it back. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, let's go ahead and head outside. I love how those doors don't really get along very well with the, like, the heat of the exhaust. Oh, dude, this thing is so nice! This thing is so sick. If you have been looking for, like, a... Not only a really good Cat Eye Chevy mod in FS22, but one that is, like, just really well representing of a stock one, but, like, a really well-optioned stock one, this is definitely gonna be a truck that you're gonna need to look at. So, let's see what this thing sounds like when we get in and start it up. Dude. <laughs> 
That sounds incredible. What about the interior? I know it's probably going to take a second for the first time going into the interior, but I want to see that CB antenna setup. Or not even the CB antenna setup, but like, I want to see what the in-cab setup of it looks like. Oh, wow. Look at that. Bro, that is so sick. The detail here is nuts. Like, the detail here is actually legitimately wild. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely nuts. All right, real quick. Oh, wait a minute. Can you... Let's see. Oh, you can put the tailgate down. Dude, that's so sick. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the tailgate down. And I'm going to use my extreme don't worry about it strength to put the dirt bike in the back. Like I said, don't worry about it. It's fine. So let's see. Dirt bike is good to go. Oh, yo, it's like, well, I mean, it's it's far enough. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and strap it down right there in the middle. And then now, we're going to go ahead and haul it back home. I mean, what better of a way to put this thing to the test than have it haul our dirt bike back home from the dealership? That's beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and pull on out of here. I said, let's go ahead and, oh, I think it's got to finish the startup process first. Yep, there it goes. Listen to how loud the turbo whistle is. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute and let you guys listen to this thing. The sound when you let off the throttle has to be the best part. Like, literally, the sound letting off the throttle in this thing, when you hear the turbo, like, blow off and, like, spool back down, oh, that is... That is probably the best part of the entire soundtrack of this truck. It's brilliant. It sounds really good when you're ripping it, too. I mean, now, granted, I've been full throttle for a while, but, like, this thing actually legit shreds. Like, it is not slow for a dually work truck. And considering the fact that, like, we didn't even really... I mean, well, we didn't option a tune on it, but the more I think about it, the more I'm like, it could have totally had a tune, like, already when we bought it. Because it's, I mean, it sounds like it's straight piped, so if it's straight piped, it's probably already got a tune as well. Alright, I'm gonna head on down this country road and just see how long it takes us to get to our house. And we're gonna see how it handles over some slightly bumpier terrain. Oh, easy. Not bad. It, whoa. Whoa. It's starting to like, oh, whoa, it's actually super predictable. We did a little mini drift around that corner. That's awesome. This thing is super easy to drive, too. Like, the way he set this thing up is properly top tier. Properly top tier. All right, let's go ahead and make a quick right-hand turn. Pull on into the house. Oh, bro, I love this place. I know it's not my primary save game in FS22, but I still love it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put the dirt bike in the barn, and we might as well park the Chevy in there, too. Yeah, while we're at it, let's back you on in. Oh, man. Now, the question is, am I happy with my new purchase? Oh, absolutely. Dude, I am, I am so happy with my new purchase. This thing is, like, this thing is incredible. And not the, not the Husqvarna. I love the Husqvarna, but this thing, oh, this thing is definitely one of the most realistic trucks I've had in my garage in a really long time. And if you're interested in checking it out, I highly recommend giving this guy's mods a look. But if you guys enjoyed this video in FS22, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.